Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 5 Top Plays. In today's episode we have a selection of the greatest clips that I've had sent in from the past few weeks, starting out with that insane kamikaze clip from Gary FBS. It doesn't always work in Battlefield 5, but when it does, you can get these incredible moments. Now turning onto a proper only in Battlefield moment, it's Dark Energy on top of a plane flown by his friend Jay Shark, and this is one of the most insane clips I have seen. On Battlefield 5. Well, I'll get you close. You just gotta do the rest. You missed two opportunities. Oh, one sauce. Alright, get out, get out, get out, get out. Jayadez, I think your name is pronounced, is playing on the Pacific, Iwo Jima, dropping some insane kills, but not on infantry. He picks up a kill on an enemy plane as he strafes past in the Zero for the Japanese. Mechatronic is next, this is Narvik, getting a long range tank kill on an unsuspecting enemy. He also sent in another long-range tank kill on Panzerstorm through the tree, unsighted, at range, taking out that enemy plane. What an incredible shot. Ruthless Carrot is next up, Pacific Storm. We've seen a few long-range shots in tanks in this episode and this one will be no different, getting one of the most insane and lucky shots I've seen to date. The Mellow is next. Another clip on the Pacific, quite popular this week as a lot of people really get their teeth into some great content that DICE fairly recently brought to the game. Hopefully we see a lot more like it in the future. Now he's spawning in, looking for a kill with the Hachi tank. I think that's how you pronounce the name of it. Getting himself a kill on an enemy plane. Never seen that done before. The Silly Muffin is pulling off probably the best Panzerfaust shot on a plane I've seen since the game came out, because a few people hit some really epic ones right at the start, but this is incredibly long range. Oh my fucking god. Did you call him? <laughs> did you kill him? Silly. He did. Larry Joe is next. A little flank on the beach of Pacific Storm in the squad call in tank for the Japanese side spots a few enemies on the beach and sets to work with a mixture of the HMG and then these incredible rocket pods. I'd like somebody to keep count of how many clips EN has had in the top plays. He does send in probably 5 or 10 a week, so it's very difficult to just pick a few each week, and I do tend to only pick the best clips, no matter who sends them in. That's quite often why you'll see a few repeat offenders. That, though, was an incredible sniping clip, getting some insane shots through the smoke. Moving on to another clip that starts out with a whole lot of smoke, it's Victor Scar on grind, pushing through with the Tommy gun. This smoke in Battlefield 5, it's essential on some maps. You can't live without it, but it is fairly annoying to play against because you simply can't see what's going on. This Tommy gun doing work against all of those enemy players, just blasting his way through with so many kills. Hey, 
Ich hab was wissen. Daz is next up with a selection of sniping clips, the first of four man with a jumping headshot collateral. Oh my god, Daz. The second is a seven man on Fiel in the snowstorm with the crag. The next is an incredible sniping kill streak with two feeds back to back once again with this crag. He's an insane player. Definitely check him out on Twitch. I'm always watching, often subscribing as well when I can to show my support for him in the community. One of the best members in the Battlefield community and he's been doing it for years. An incredible sniping feed to start us off and then he does get into another one later in the clip. Tears B Bang is next up, Operation Underground, and a really awesome flank on all of these camping enemies using the throwing knives. It's Harry is dropping in on Iwo Jima pulling off an incredibly lucky top play. The Aussie guy 1989 is coming in with a jungle carbine clip, headshot after headshot and insane accuracy. Die. Talking about accuracy, how about two clips from Maxique, both of them on Operation Underground. Yes, he is an aggressive player, and not only does he get these awesome flanking moments, but he makes the most of them with some incredible accuracy right there with a the revolver that only gets better throughout the clips. The second one is a real favourite of mine, as he just blasts through the enemy team with his ZK. This first clip, though, is with the Tommy gun and goes on for around 30 more seconds as he just rinses the enemy team and everybody in his way with some great accuracy. Give me more headshots.
Oh, I didn't... damn, that was a nice flank. <laughs> Another Battlefield 1 clip, this time from Dexter. Playing on Monty Grappa, he's pushing Alpha Objective up the hill, running with the Model 10A. Not always the best thing to be using on this map, as it can often leave you a bit exposed at those longer ranges, but he's pushing up with a couple of teammates, and they are completely dominating this side of the map, smashing all of these camping enemies out of the way. We'll finish off today's episode with two Katana clips, the first from Nono Bale. This is Pacific Storm, obviously one of the new Chapter 5 maps. That's how you get the Katana, pick it up from one of the stations, and if you're lucky enough you'll get a big pile of enemy players like this that you can just slice your way through. That guy trying to run away with the Fliegerfaust didn't stand a chance. A massive kill streak. this one, somehow managing to survive in all of these enemy players. No, 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 no. Devo salvare la clip. No, no, ci tipo 20. Pekek 2017, once again picking up the katana inside the caves on Iwo Jima and pulling off an insane back rage on a massive pile of enemies. Epic 09 is next, Battlefield 1, and a clip like this is just insane, with one of the most lucky tank kills on a plane I have seen. A sentry kit is available in your location. We have lost objective apples. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did, leave a like down below. And also remember to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.